Piro Marquez. Ever hear of him? What? No. He was a stool pigeon for the Justice Department. He swore out a statement to federal marshals saying that he had seen and could positively identify one Kaiser Sose. It says right here in the report, he had intimate knowledge of his businesses, including, but not exclusive, to drug trafficking and murder. I never heard of him. His own people were selling him to a gang of Hungarians, most likely the same Hungarians that Sose all but wiped out back in Turkey. The money wasn't there for dope. The Hungarians were going to buy the one guy that could incriminate Kaiser Sose. I said I never heard of him. But Keaton did. Edie Finneran was Marquez's extradition advisor. She knew who he was and what he knew. I, I don't... I'm... There were no drugs on that boat. It was a hit. A suicide mission to whack out the one guy that could finger Kaiser Sose. So Sose put some thieves to it. Men he knew we could march into certain death. You're saying Sose sent us to kill someone? You're saying Keaton did. Verbal, he left you behind for a reason. Just do what I tell you. If you all knew that Sose could find you anywhere, why did he give you the money to run? He could have used you on the boat. He wanted me to live. <laughs> a one-time dirty cop without a loyalty in the world finds it in his heart to save a worthless rat cripple. No, sir, why? Edie. I don't buy that reform story for a minute. Even if I did, I certainly don't believe he would send you to protect her. So why? Because he was my friend. No, Verbal. He wasn't your friend. Keaton didn't have friends. What are you doing here? He saved you because he wanted it that way. It was his will. Keaton was Kaiser Sose. No. The kind of man who could wrangle the wills of men, like Hackney and McManus. The kind of man who could engineer a police lineup through all these years of contacts in NYPD. The kind of man who could have killed Edie Finneran.